We now need to chat about how histamine is broken down in the body. And I know that there are several enzymes, but clinically, I just really focus on these two. And I've been doing it for 12 years now, and I just find that we need to focus on these two enzymes. We've got the Dow enzyme, the diamine oxidase enzyme, Dow enzyme. And Dow deals with histamine that is outside the cell. It's in many organs of the body, but I just often think about outside the cell, it's in the gut. And when it comes to histamine, issues with the gut are a really big deal. It drives up a lot of histamine. And all this histamine being built up for the gut, it's the Dow enzyme that's dealing with that histamine being produced in the gut. And it's the Dow enzyme that breaks down the histamine in food which is why people become very reactive to high histamine foods. I actually think that's where the term histamine intolerance comes from because people recognize that they have an intolerance to these common foods. Histamine N-methyltransferase is the other enzyme. Now, being a methyltransferase enzyme, it needs a methyl group for that enzyme to work. And we're going to be discussing a lot about methylation in upcoming episodes, but essentially you need to create SAMI, your body's major methyl donor, as that's the cofactor for the histamine N-methyltransferase enzyme. So the cofactor just helps that enzyme work. Now, clinically, what's really important to know is that the Dow enzyme is absent in the central nervous system. So when it comes to breaking down histamine in the brain, we need methylation. So wow, wouldn't you think I'm going to give methylated B vitamins and or SAMe to someone with migraines and it will fix it. Well, I'm here to tell you that it often doesn't and it can often make them worse because essentially you're breaking down the histamine really quickly and often not addressing the root cause of why you have high histamine in the brain in the first place. I know the brain makes histamine, but it's so often coming from the gut. It can come from the nasal cavity with something called Marcons. We'll learn all about Marcons in upcoming episodes. It can come from estrogen. So you need to be addressing these root causes and not just jumping in with methyls to break down histamine really, really quickly. Now, if you're a patient or practitioner and you've done that and it's worked, fantastic. It can, but I'm just here to tell you that it can cause adverse reactions. So if that's happened to you, you probably do need to try and get to the root cause first, get your histamines down, get your gut fixed, balance your hormones, and then going in with these methyls can help. They can potentially just come at the end, just get rid of those niggly headaches or migraines. 